right, here's a good example, text message, text sequence that led to a date, a meetup, and it goes over a lot of different things from flirting to initiating the conversation to being playful, et cetera, et cetera. So let's check out this text message here. This was on Hinge. And one of the things I did on Hinge is I say my irrational fear is cats. So that way, if girls like cats, they'll comment. If they like dogs, they'll comment. So it's kind of like a tease to girls that like cats. And if they have dogs, then they're like, in this case, we have the same irrational fear, which I don't have a fear of cats. It's just a playful thing I added in my profile. And I say, wow, that might be a sign from the hinge gods. We may need to get mozzarella sticks sometime or make our own. So what I'm hinting at here, she in her profile, she said the weakness or one way to her heart was mozzarella sticks. She said she loved mozzarella sticks. So I say we should make mozzarella sticks or make our own. So what is that hinting at? That's hinting at a meetup. So that's hinting at getting together, either first date or maybe just somewhere down the road, I can go back to that. Says we're definitely going to have to. Joke's on me. I gave them up for Lent. Uh, I could easily have given up makeup because of quarantine and spared myself the mental anguish. Proud of myself for making it with them 40 days and 40 nights. And then I say, well, you got to wear makeup for the exciting virtual dates. Um, And I say, I just want a cute corona-free girl for real-life adventures. So again, I'm testing to see if she's worried about meeting up or not worried about meeting up or if she's going to just want to do a virtual date. So I'm just kind of seeing where this could go. She says, I haven't had any virtual dates, but uh, what you see is what you get. I rock the no makeup look. But yeah, same, I need a COVID-19 negative guy. So I joke around, I say I come with a doctor's note. Hashtag negative, perfect. So then I say we'll split a bottle of wine and play Jenga together. And I say no coughing or sneezing allowed, but everything else goes. So here is sort of a push, I guess sort of a push-pull, just a playful thing. I say we'll split a bottle of wine, but if you're coughing or sneezing, it's not allowed. But anything else is okay. And says I'll think about it. And I say, ask the angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other and see what they say and get back to me by midnight. And she says, aha, shush. Whenever a girl's like teasing you or, or uh, playing back and forth, like, oh, shush, it's good. It's uh, a playful thing. And I say, they both, or she said, they both said, staying, you were a bad girl yesterday, going out, but the man is cute. Now I'm trying to see what she did. All right, she went out, so she's okay with leaving or she's okay with meeting or what's the situation? And so I say, what'd you do yesterday? I was so naughty. I guess we'll have to try and top that. So saying you did something naughty, and I guess we'll have to see if we can uh, do something even worse. Snuck to my best friend's place this year on a birthday. Uh, her roomie is my other best friend. So auntie came through, blah, blah. And I say, Jesus, I didn't know you were into uh, what you're into, but that's going to be hard to top. Oh, she says, um, wait, what'd she say? Snuck out to my best friend's place to see her for her birthday her roomie is my other best bestie and she's got a puppy uh so i'm just saying like it sounds like you had a good time that's gonna be hard to top you know like kind of a a tease snuck out to see your puppy so yeah it's gonna be hard to top again shush laughing say something tells me you're kind of adventurous so maybe not and plus your donuts look amazing so she had a picture of her holding a box of donuts so that's why it's she had like a a low cut top and she was holding donuts next to it or like next to her. So it's kind of like a little, could be a little joke where I could, you know, misinterpret it. But I say, uh, look, your donuts look amazing. I'm wild. I haven't had a donut in a couple of weeks. I'm going to have to pull the trigger this weekend. And then I say, I say this a lot. I don't want to be a bad influence. So I say, I don't want to be a bad influence, but you should, uh, should get out of the wild. Uh, you should let out the wild side and have a couple of donuts as well. So again, I'm saying like, I don't want to be a bad influence. I'm still trying to like push to see what she's up for. Um, I think I may, uh, I think I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to have to this weekend, maybe even sneak to Mary Lou's for coffee. So she's saying she's going to sneak out for coffee. And then what can I say? I say, sneak to me. I'll make you coffee. What's your number we can text? So I'll have the whole rest of the conversation, the text conversation. I'll have that linked 
on YouTube, either down below or because I don't want to post a whole th- conversation on YouTube or Instagram. So I'll have it down below or on Instagram. You can check the bio and I should have it up in a few days. But I'll just go over more of the playfulness, more of the texting. Uh, so you can get an idea of good text message that you could use or what could work. So that was a text breakdown, a little bit on how to flirt, how to make the conversation more playful, more interesting. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Make sure you go to Instagram or YouTube, subscribe. And any questions, DM us. But uh, other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video.